morning, everyone. This is Anne Marie. Today is December the 17th, and here's a look at the spy. I'm not really sure the last time I did a video, but I know it's exactly the same thing that I'm looking at uh, that I was then. No formation has broken, right? I still believe that we are boxed in here. I do not believe we are making a rollover uh, formation here. It's just not, not what I think we're doing. Let's go all the way in. Let's look at a weekly chart. And we can see that, of course, we are in a space that we should eventually roll over from. But that eventually event looks like it's pretty far away in terms of saying, all right, is this definitively where we're going to go? Uh, no, right? And look at how long the SPY has held these overbought formations. Look at how long. February, okay? Just because it's up here doesn't mean it's rolling over, all right? Now, I will say that is a really long time. So we are due for a little bit of a dip. All these dips should be coming into support and nothing else. Longer formations are extremely bullish. And I know bears are not happy about that based on, you know, general doom and gloom, but, you know, it is what it is, folks. We're just going to trade what we see. Right now, we've got a little bit of rotation action here. Notice this faster line moving into this formation. We're due for a little bit of one of these dip action events, a little bit of a dip action event to pull things out, but slower time frames, these things are significantly holding and they can hold for a long time. Do not believe people who say that's going to roll over today. We don't know, right? I mean, it's spent the whole year here. So let's go to a daily chart. We're going to telescope in, all right? And we see again all of October, all the way to December. Look at this patch. This is the big giant patch right here where it's all very high. And now look at look at where we are, right? Look at these formations. If we look down here, even to this edge, we are seeing bounces at every single one of these regions that come into test here. This one pulled back a bit more but it did bounce into a lower high, bounce again, right? Pull back way here, this continued down. We want to see inflection, but a bounce again. So we know that another bounce event is more than likely. Just looking at this formation on a daily chart, yet another bullish, another piece of bullish evidence, okay? So what's the bottom line? Charts, bit sideways uh, into this region. We know momentum is uh, dampening a little bit. We know that because of the strength of the market and normal wave rotation, we could easily come back into this S-curve test, which for those of you that work with me, you know what that is. Right down here at 173, to 174, right? 173.50 and so on and so forth. And nothing would be wrong with that. The trend would still be holding, all right? So the market has no intention of rolling over at this particular juncture. Even if it does roll over, it's only coming into support. So do not back up the truck, go short, and then leave, okay? That's not going to serve you well. You've got to understand that if you do take the short coming out of this space, it is a counter trend trading event and it must be uh, nursed, as it were. You got to pay attention to that. All right. So coming into the hourly, that's going to be the last look that we have today. I do expect meandering motion like this, but notice this hourly chart. Something's getting ready to happen. Something's getting ready to happen, no doubt about it. The 200, the 50, the 8, the VWAP, all sitting here at the one hour chart. If It would be much nicer if, it, if they were all sitting together 
at the 4-hour chart as well, but they are not, and if we're sitting between the 50 and the 200, we could collapse all the way down into the midline of this last move, which would also be just at the midline of the distance between the 50 and the 200. So what's the moral of the diatribe here? That is, pay attention. If it loses the level, take the trade, unless it's that really big candlestick that comes after the FOMC results. All right. I would not do that. I would wait for it to confirm. If you chase it, you know, good luck with that. It could easily turn out to be a good trade. It is not worth the risk reward event for me to do that. So I will wait. But if today this breaks down or it breaks out, you take the trade until it gets into frontline resistance or it breaks support. If it breaks support, you get out of the trade for the long. If it breaks resistance, you get out of the trade for the short. And the line in the sand is exactly the same for both sides of that trade, right? It's going to be 178.80 or something like that, 178.88, maybe 178.90 for the long for support and 178.80 for the short as resistance on the stops. Okay, so good luck trading today. I'm probably going to be sitting on my hands a lot. Very, very difficult for me to do that. So I've got a lot of study material sitting at my desk. So I'm not, you know, that kid staring at the cookie going, oh, I've got to touch it, right? Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that video, but I, I'll probably find it and then tweet it. All right, so that's it. Good luck trading today. Pay attention, and I'll speak to you all very soon. <music>